Well, you take a look around our newsroom and you see people sniffling and sneezing. It is definitely allergy season. Beth Galvin with the Fox Medical Team is here to talk about some relief. Good morning to you, Beth. I heard her Flonase is now over the counter. It is, Lauren, and that's good news for a lot of those folks who have the stuffy nose or the running nose, the sneezing folks. That's a nasal allergy spray that was typically prescription. Now it's available over the counter along with another product by Nasacort. Um, and it, it can really help, again, with those nasal symptoms. You also, if, you're, if you've got those mild allergies, I'd really suggest dropping by the drugstore and looking for either an antihistamine or a decongestion. An antihistamine helps with sort of the runny nose and the itching and the sneezing, and a decongestion really helps with that congestion if that's what's going on with you. And there are actually, Lauren, products that are dual. They have a decongestion and an antihistamine in there. You'll typically see those with like a dash D at the end mm -hmm. of them, like Allegra D or Claritin D. Those can help. They're not gonna stop your spring allergies, but they can definitely help tone them down. You Lauren? know, when we look at some of the numbers that our meteorologist Evan puts up, it makes you not even want to go outside. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> which is yeah. hard not to do. I mean, because a lot of people want to exercise. They need to mow the lawn right yeah. now or start taking care of the yard. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. So I would really suggest paying attention to that pollen count. Those numbers that are getting thrown up there on your TV screen in the morning, they matter if you're an allergy sufferer with spring allergies. So I would really pay attention. And when that pollen count's really high, maybe you taper back on your workout. Or maybe you work out in the late afternoon, early evening hours when the pollen tends to settle down a little bit at the end of the day. And then if you're going to be working out, you may want to limit your workout just a little bit. Or, um, you know, when you come back inside, really make sure that you're taking off those workout clothes, you're jumping in the shower, washing your hair, washing the pollen off of you because when you're working out and you're covered in pollen, you're bringing that back inside and you don't want to do that in your home. Lauren? Yeah, my allergist said a big thing was washing your hair. Like if you've gone outside, come and wash it because otherwise you're going to go to bed and you're going to sleep on your hair on your pillow and those, that's yes. just going to kind of stick around. Yes, yes, and, and, and it's really, we don't really think about that, but it is on our clothing, it is in our hair, so a good little quick shower before you go to bed can have you feeling a whole lot better because we spend hours in bed, and if you're covered in pollen, that's not good for you. Anything else you can do around the home? A lot of things you can do around the home. So I would really uh, practice that spring cleaning. Try to do that a couple of times a week. Really wipe down the surfaces, wipe down the floors. Do not sweep. That's just going to stir up the pollen. So vacuum. Make sure on your vacuum you've got a good HEPA filter, one of those high efficiency filters. Also, run your fan on your air conditioning system 24 7 because that's filtering the air in your house oh. and filtering out the allergens. And um, make sure that you've got a HEPA filter on there too. You know, those filters are a little bit more expensive. But but this time of year, if you've got those mild allergies, you got to get those good filters to help you out. Lauren? Good point. Thank you so much, Beth. Appreciate it.